One week after JetBlue made its inaugural flight to St. Lucia, the island has made another addition to its airlift capacity. Condor Airlines, based in Germany, made its return to the island after a five-year absence. Prime Minister Stevenson King says his government is committed to forging a long-term relationship with the airline. Condor has been, uh, for some time, a visiting friend to our shores, but five years ago suspended the operations here in St. Lucia. We are proud that uh, they have returned on this occasion. In the first instance, you are to be here for six months, but it is our in intention to continue to negotiate to at least sustain the operations beyond six months and to have your visits here as regular scheduled flights into St. Lucia. Tourism Minister Alan Shastney sees Condor Airlines as the island main link to the European market. And so this really is a huge opportunity for St. Lucia to be able to have a bridge. Um, we know that a lot of mainland Europeans don't like to come over uh, from the UK, so we're really seeing this as now our flagship carrier from Europe. And so I just want to say to the, the family of Condor, Captain, it's great, that thank you so much for having faith in us. Um, and as the Prime Minister indicated that, that we're very committed to trying to get this to a, a daily service as soon as possible. The captain of the historic flight says the airline is happy to restore its services to the island. But I'm very glad to have had the opportunity to, pre um, to present you the greetings from our board of directors and uh, well as well to share your opinion about this uh, hopefully uh, promising joint venture this win-win situation which we will have hopefully to promote tourism in your country and uh, perhaps some business as well for us. Prime Minister Stevenson King says his government will move to upgrade the infrastructure at the airport to meet the expansion in airline services. So let me assure you that it is my government's commitment to do just that, to enhance the facilities here at Yonora International Airport and we're now at the stage of about to conclude negotiations to construct a, a new terminal that will provide expanded services, modern uh, airport facilities for the volume of traffic that we are seeing here at Yonora International Airport. The island is beefing up its airlift capacity in anticipation of what authorities say will be a bumper winter tourism season. Desmond Collimore, HTS News, Channel 4.